Okay, so today we're doing it in the kitchen. <laughs> I had to cook. Uh, the book today that we look that I want to talk to you about is called A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. And and this the one, this the one that they always talk about was the classic, and I get it because this this was good. <laughs> like I enjoyed this book a lot. Um, this basically is about this young guy. He's in the military. He's an ambulance driver. Hold on, I need to cut off this. Make it too much. Cooking some sausages right now. But the guy is an ambulance driver, and he gets wounded. You know, he, he's taking care of people and all, but. He gets wounded, and they go in to talk about his friends and all the people that he met, which was pretty good. You know, it's one of these books that I wanted to keep reading. I wanted to know what's going to happen, what's going to happen. You know, he meets this girl, he gets wounded. She's the nurse at the hospital. So they get to spend all kind of time together. You know, they say his legs were messed up. But for some reason, he was kind of in a rush to get back. <laughs> to what they called the front line. I didn't understand that. Because at first they told me it would take six months. If I was him, I would have went on ahead and said, yeah, take as long as you can, <laughs> and I'm chilling in the hospital. So, but, you know, he gets back. Eventually he escapes, you know, and while he was in the hospital, he gets the woman pregnant. You know, and I won't tell you about the end. Don't let anybody tell you about the end. Read it for yourself because the end is very good, you know. It's, it's, it's kind of, I like it because it's kind of like, it reminds me of that book, um, Things Fall Apart by Chania Achupi. You should read that too, Things Fall Apart, you know, because it's, it's reality, <laughs> you know. There's no such thing as a happy ending, you know, in, in real life, <laughs> you know, because life keeps going on, you know. And that's what I liked about it, you know. I mean, it was kind of dark, but... I would rather that than they just get away and go live happily ever after, you know, and some BS. But one of the parts that really struck me that was like this. That was this was one of the paragraphs that really struck me. That's what you did. You died. You did not you did not know what it was about. You never had time to learn. They threw you in and told you the rules, and the first time they cut you off base, they killed you. Or they killed you gratuitously, like Amiel, that was his friend. Or gave you the syphilis, like Rinaldi, that was another friend of his. But they killed you in the end. You could count on that. Stay around, and they would kill you. <laughs> And that's when it hit me like and it went all the way to the end, you know, the beginning was kind of, it wasn't slow, but it was kind of like he was just talking about his everyday life and how he felt about being in the war and, you know, meeting different people and all, but towards the end, he really got down to the nitty gritty where, you know, all this is at the end, you die. <laughs> so, you know, and it's kind of like a philosophical statement. You know, should I just enjoy my life and just, why I get up and go to work every morning, I can just enjoy my life. The guy that goes to work every morning, he might have a house and a car, but he's not enjoying it. Every Monday morning, he got to get up to a job that he hates, <laughs> or even if he loves it, he still got to do it. So, well, why can I just stay at home and just relax and chill? You know? Some people choose to just say, forget it, I'm just going to. I used to work at a homeless shelter and there was guys in there and they were like, the people that go to work every day and pay bills are stupid. <laughs> because I'm sitting here enjoying my life. I have 24 hours a day to do whatever I want. I might not have a place to stay, but I can sleep outside. I mean, I don't have to impress anybody by taking a shower. I mean, there's people that really think like that, you know? And then there's those that say, no, you know, I'm going to work 12 hours a day. I'm not going to have a life. I'm just going to work, 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 because this is what I need to do to provide. Or oh, I really love my job. But at the end of the day, for all of these segments, they all die. <laughs> and then you got the guy that said, well, I'm just going to enjoy my life, do whatever I want. He dies. And you got the guy that said, well, I'm going to pray and fast and 
I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to serve my flesh. I'm not going to have sex, go out, go get drunk. I'm just going to pray all day and meditate. And he dies too. So, <laughs> it's just, I like the way he ended it because he said that, you know, whatever you choose, you're going to come to the same thing, but it's on you to choose. And that's your story. So, yeah, this... This was a good book. I'll, I'll definitely, I, this is a library book, but I'm going to definitely buy this for my house. You know, I, will, I this is one of the ones I like to read once a year, you know, and suggest to people. This is a, a true classic, you know. And it's Hemingway. He, he, he's, he's really catching on to me, you know. I got one more book to read by him, and uh, there's another book of short stories, but, you know, I'm glad that I took this time to learn more about Ernest Hemingway. See you later. Let me finish cooking.